Hello, my name is Ethan Minsker. I'm the curator, or one of the curators, of the Box Show, presented by the Antagonist Art Movement. Uh, today, Monday, uh, November 6, 2006, we did a group art show based on the theme of a box. So we had 20 different artists making boxes, decorating boxes, filling boxes. The Antagonist Movement does uh, group art shows here every three months in a bar, and um, this theme was uh, just based on the idea I wanted to incorporate some more sculpture into our art shows because usually it's um, two-dimensional or just painting or flat. So we wanted to try to get these artists to make something a little more three-dimensional. I'm right here by Just Drummer, kind of. The Just beautiful Drummer. Andy <laughs> Max. So I, I took a ton of photos and I have bloopers and outtakes, which you're not going to see because there's like nipple in some of them. Um, but this one, you know, it's totally clean-ish. Uh, Somewhat. I'm, I'm naked, but you can't see anything. It's cool. <laughs> and um, so I took a ton of photos, and the one that I like the best, uh, the box call. of me, the, the box that I'm in for this thing that I was trying to get into, or and you can like zoom I, in on I that, did. right? Like zoom in on the th yeah. There you go. <laughs> and I did a sh I did a piece in there, which was a. Uh, me, uh, Un, Lee, and Ted Reeder together as a group made uh, one piece. It's a plexiglass box that we filled. Uh, it was sort of an exquisite corpse of sorts. Ethan made the house. His girlfriend Un made the tree, and then I had to do. I got to do whatever I wanted. So I decided to make a bunch of mice rocking out in the basement, playing to like a crowd of roaches. I did not construct a box. I actually did a painting of a friend of mine trapped within a box. And basically my painting is, uh, it symbolizes the fears and anxieties, the mental stresses and uh, the hardships that I've gone through since I moved to New York from Colorado. And it, it really, represents uh, basically how each and every one of us constructs our own boxes mentally. Well, it's called uh, pretend. There's a lot of people pretend that there's something and then they're not. It's, it's called pretend and uh, take from it what you want. It's got words on it. You have to read it. Where are you from? Well, where do I live now? I don't know. I'm in Connecticut now. Can you describe the box for me, please? It's uh, covered in uh leather and paper and sawed off bits of starfish and uh, what else? Oh, it's got a, a letter in it. Oh, that's a, I was right, paper! There's a letter inside of my box. We'll have to x-ray it to find out what it says. Describe mine. Well, it's all based around this little magnet. Now I got it. When I was asked to do the show, I didn't really have an idea. I just said, you know, you have to make a box, 12 inches by 12 inches or smaller, and do something with it. I did the sketch of this octopus with damaged tentacles, and well, basically I wanted to make magnets out of it, so I just used it as my inspiration, and I made an octopus out of wood, and basically anything I can find at a hardware store. And just tried to make it as sort of generic as I could without putting anything crazy or trying to make it look realistic. And that was basically it. The box I painted to tonight is uh, done in tattoo flash style. Because recently I've started tattooing, and so I'm taking some of my art has also gone in that direction. So I wanted to do a box with some cool tattoo flash on it. So um, my box has an old school American style snake. The snake represents death. The, the gems represent money or riches. And the skull um, represents mortality, which is, uh, you know, the age-old uh, saying of, you know, you, 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 you live, you try to make some money, and then you die. So what's the name of the, the box? It's Death and Riches. Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Oh. <laughs> hey! So I'm Miriam Castillo, I'm Mexican, I'm here in New York just having a good time and Antagonista Movement invited me to this thing and I think it's really nice. So I try to make something cool and it's going to be my cremation box and that's it. He came from Ohio. <laughs> What's the name of your piece? Isolation and 
can you describe it for us, please? Yeah, it's basically, it's it, it fits into the parameters of the 12-inch box. Uh, it's a blue steel box with probably about 362 spikes in it. It kind of just has to do with my past experiences in New York, dealing with uh, that I love New York, but it's a very unforgiving city. And a lot of stuff, like wherever you walk, a lot of stuff has spikes. You just, nothing's, you know, forgiving to you. Oh, la evolución de mi corazón. One and two. That's the evolution of my heart. One and two. I have two boxes. Well, the concept behind them is basically dealing with femininity and love lost. A woman with a hole in, in her heart and there's bugs coming out and you know I tried to mimic my my drawings and my paintings in this 3D piece and it's the first time I've done it. Do you sell a lot of pieces from these shows? For the I mean do the artists sell a lot of pieces in these shows? We sell maybe one quarter of the art that we show. Uh, we sold one piece last night for the previous show the night before it went down. So yeah we sell enough for a bar in East Village. It's affordable not a gallery so we don't charge gallery prices. Mm -hmm. Did the artist give the antagonist movement a cut of it or does all the money go to the antagonist movement? We get 20%. Mm -hmm. Do you feel this show was successful? I, I think people turned out and we got good art so we'll have to see over the next three months what people think of it.